Hello, people. Today we're going to be talking about growing the action habit. Let's get started. So, the first, first main thing is being an activist, not a pacifist. So, the difference between activist and pacifist is basically the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people. Activist is the doer. The pacifist is waiting for the right opportunity to do the the task which was which is never be something does things be a doer not a non-doer don't wait until the conditions are perfect they will never be expect future obstacles and future difficulties and solve them when they arise so you don't plan for them you when when it, they introduce themselves, you have to tackle them in the moment. Remember that ideas alone won't bring success. Ideas have value when they're acted upon. They don't have value just as that, the idea itself. So using action to cure fear and gain the confidence. Do what you fear and the fear disappears. Try in anything. If you fear something like the dishes or uh, running or walking, go out and do it. Then you're, the fear disappears. You go out and try and see. Uh, it, the fear just disappears. Start your mental engine mechanically. You don't need to wait for the spirit to move you when you're writing. You don't know what to write. You can just You can start with a doodle. Or something uh, like a diagram. And you'll think you'll move the spirit. You'll move your brain to think more. And that means take action. What once you're, When you're doodling or drawing a diagram while you're writing, you will think of more things. So you're taking action, dig in, and move the spirit. Think in terms of now. This, this is an amazing point. Words like tomorrow, next week, later, and similar words like that are often synonyms of failure word uh, never. Be an I'm starting now type of person so you can move with your tasks. For example, when you're starting homework, say we'll give an example of Joe. He wants to start, he wants to spend his day studying, but there is little counters that he needs to do before studying. So maybe he wants to prepare. So he gets distracted uh, from the TV. So say it was 7, he was done his dinner, and he wanted to watch TV. And it, and he watched TV until 8, 8 p.m. Now he's he wants to start his work. So he wants to, he goes in his desk, but he remembers that he, he needs to get something. So he gets back up and is distracted with the ping pong table. So he plays a couple matches and he gets sweaty. So he, he thinks he should take a shower. And after that, he, he realizes that he's hungry. So he wants to get food. And at the end, it's already 1 a.m. After all that thing, and his brain is just too tired to continue studying. So he continues studying for one more hour and then goes to sleep. Don't be that person. Be the person who gets the work done automatically. You go and do the task. Don't uh, waste time getting ready to act. Act. Uh, start acting instead. Seize initiative. Be the crusader. Pick up the ball and run. Be a volunteer. Show show that you have the ability and the ambition to do so. Get into gear and go. I was reading uh, a quote from that, and it's just spectacular. Again, the magic of thinking big. I really recommend you guys uh, get the book because it's full of facts, and I really enjoy reading it, and there's so much information to derive from it. That's all for this video.
remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you lo love the video. Please make sure to really subscribe in the analytics and only 40% of people are subscribed. So the 60%, if you really like my content, you should go to subscribe so you and uh, turn on notifications to get more of the, uh, of the content. Have an amazing day. See you in the next one.